You know, there are people who believe that um, aliens are here. And um, one of the reasons they give is to say, well, there are so many millions of stars and planets, billions out there that, you know, why, why wouldn't there be life there? You know, you'd have to be an idiot to think that there's no life anywhere. But that's not really the point, is it? The, the point is that um, they are not necessarily here. But why aren't they here? I mean, if it, assuming that the um, galaxy is teeming with life, and um, you know, they're, they're at least human intelligence, why aren't they flying about? I mean, it might just be that um, well, it's the Fermi paradox, isn't it? Why aren't they here? But it might just be that they are. Interstellar travel is just too hard. It's not an easy problem to solve. The answer might be in the argument of the UFO believers. Um, the fact that there are so many stars out there might mean that it's really difficult to find another planet with life on it, amongst all the other planets that don't have life. It might also be that the um, that other um, civilizations might be so clever that they decide that they don't want to travel and it, they're better off staying put. They just cannot find a reason to travel. Could be that. Or it could be that they are travelling and we just can't detect them. But I, I'm wondering about what the um, intelligent life would have to look like in order to be able to build um, a spacecraft. You know, I mean, Im imagine a, a dolphin, a species of dolphin on another planet that is twice as intelligent as people on average. So the average is Einstein intelligence, but they only have flippers. And so they can't manipulate objects can't build things, they can't uh, create electronics because they're underwater. There's not a lot they can do. They might try to uh, train other animals that have sort of hands or those kind of capabilities. But there's no guarantee that there are, there are uh, other animals on their planet that can do that or that can be trained or that can build things to their uh, necessary complexity. There's also, just been th I'm also thinking about um, what some religious people believe. They think that if that there aren't, there is no other life anywhere amongst the trillions and trillions of stars, and that if we did find anything that looked like life, they would actually be demons and not aliens. So um, I'm just wondering what. You know, what if it was, what if life was just like mice? If we just found little mice on another planet, would they count as demons or what about frogs? Small frogs that just fed on leaves or something, would they count as demons? Or would they be put there by Satan as a way of distracting us from Jesus? That's the thing with certain religious beliefs, you have to jump through hoops and you have to explain things away and they believe that God their God made this entire universe just for this one little planet to have life on it I think that is absurd but of course absurdity doesn't mean that uh, I'm right they might be right about this yeah imagine little Frog demons are there just to distract us from the message. I suppose that what Christians are saying is that God has created life on this planet, but that Satan has created life on all the others. <laughs>